So this is the story of Preston Park FC. We're currently in the Brighton and Worthing District League Division 1 and lie in 10th. Enjoy. You went on a mission To take my pride away from me You don't ever so we're nearly at the training ground. Um, I don't know. I don't really get to train that much anymore because obviously I'm starting to do this. But we'll just see how it goes, and we'll see um, how the players react as well to the camera because obviously this is kind of new to them as well as well as me. Anyway, I'll see you in the ground. So uh, some of the guys are already here. Uh, let's just have a look and see if they are camera shy or if they're ready to go on. New of our training, uh, we're just waiting for a couple of the other lads to come. Actually not a couple, a lot of them. Uh, in the meantime, we'll meet this uh, monster over here. Baths. What's up? Do you want to introduce yourself? What position do you play? Yeah, so I'm Buff man. I play centre midfield. <laughs> Or pretty much anywhere where the team requires me, actually. Well, why do they call you Bass, by the way? Always That's my wondering. name. First name is Bafana. That's such a so, sick name. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> I made it cool. You could have just it been Buffy or Buff. Yeah. I made it Buff Man. The fact that you're actually Buff, though, helps, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? I like that. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Come on, Matt. So for the camera. Yeah. Some skills, yeah? <laughs> Pressure, mate. Don't go to the cameraman. I'm a cameraman for a reason, but <laughs> There we go. Whoa, Dan, you nearly knocked my camera out. Uh, I meant to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see more of him later on. Like I say, we've got a match up tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. So I need to like speak and stuff. Like, yo, this is uh, Friday. We're going to do a training session. It's going to be mad. Got the boys <laughs> over there just warming up, you know. Did Pam shot up the boys. Got a new haircut. We'll, we'll edit that in. We'll edit got a fresh haircut in. just for the camera. Yeah, of course, mate. You know, you got to look so. your best, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like I said. Mate, so weird. Anyway, what position do you play? I play like. In your name and everything. My name's Will. Um, I play like Cam. Um, yeah, you know, top goal scorer this season, which is nice. Almost top assist as well, apart from Majid. But I assisted Majid's goal, yes, um, last week. So it's all good. But, um,. Yeah man, yeah. training. A further look this week, last week he was wearing an Arsenal kit. So he's, oh, he's still wearing it. Oh, <laughs> See, I picked the wrong guy for the, to pick to go on the camera. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got oh, he finally went wearing that Arsenal kit no, all mate. these weeks. Every week, I literally washed it like yesterday just in time for today. No, it's not that, it's just Arsenal. Mate, you know it's, just, it's the freshest kit and it's like the 14th best team in the country. So yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you want to wear it? It's not bad. <laughs> Only watching me. <laughs> Where did you get that watch? Let's see. It's nice, though, isn't it? It is. Please take it off. I know, but you got that on TK Maxx, didn't you? No. You bought it online at the watch shop. Oh. Black Friday sales. <laughs> I won't ask how much. Big game tomorrow at AFC Woodward. We'll ask them to eat tonight in preparation um, for tomorrow's game. Um, coming off a good victory last week. Um, really keen for guys to not let the standards slip. Um, let's not look at the table and think that tomorrow's game is going to be easy. Um, we we'll use tonight to prepare well, and we'll go into tomorrow's game expecting a tough game, and we'll be looking to go over the three points. So we're going to start warming up. Let's get three lines, and we'll just do our normal warm up. So so Shana, what's the plan for today then? Right, so literally, the um, we're really just preparing for tomorrow's game. Um, it's a broad water, isn't it? It is indeed. Facing, yeah. How do you think it's going to go? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, um, what we'll do is we're going to warm up from head to toe. We'll jog out. First thing we'll do is we'll get their arms up. And we'll move back. All out.
All right, let's see uh, some of the coaching tip that Shane is doing at the moment. So, let's see. But when they're playing, there's five of them and there's three of you. So realistically, I'm not expecting these guys to be able to hold on to the ball for more than four seconds. Yeah? So literally, if you lose the ball, fair enough. But then I want you to hunt in packs. There's five against three. Similarly, there's five and three. I expect you guys to be achieving these tens. Yeah? Let's play. One, two, three. Oh, four. <laughs> Left to right, and then we're moving along as we go. Yeah? Nice. Person on this side, at full pace, he attacks the cone, he steps inside, and he gets his shot off. As soon as the shot's off, I don't want you guys watching the shot, you then turn. Play the ball. One, two, get your shot off. Yeah? Did we just see that? Yeah. 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 Shoot. Get the ball from out wide. Yeah. And shoot. So, so when you start over here, there's three phases to your play. Okay. And also, whoever has the shot in the middle, your job right. is you don't switch off after your shot. You're in the box for the cross at the last phase. Okay. So yeah. Right here, part. So we'll do that one last time quickly. Okay. Shane, how do you think uh, the training sessions are going at the moment with the drills? <laughs> Yeah, to be honest with you, it's new to everyone, you know, we're just really getting started with what we're doing here today. Um, as you can see, the boys are adapting quite well, I think, considering this is the first time that yeah. they've done the drill. Um, but, you know, it's all about in preparation for tomorrow. You've got, like, the two drills set up. Mm -hmm. Is each of them just, like, a shooting practice or is no, it more right, like so a... On that pitch, we've got the boys really practicing on the ball retention, you know, that's yeah. a, a, a real key part of the way we play about keeping the ball. So there's a large emphasis over there on that, whilst the defenders, they need to recover the ball quickly. Then over there, we've got uh, a little bit of combinations. Yeah. Um, so that that's where the midfield will link up on uh, with each other. Yeah. And, and then we've got the finishing as well, because, you know, we, we missed a lot of chances recently, so... Yeah. Figured the guys could do with some of this Sounds today. Great. All right. Sounds great, man. We're good. What the drill is? I'm not sure, but I'm just watching now. Let's see what they do. I think you, you shoot, you turn, you get the ball, you sh you pass it, and then the final one, you cross it. What was that? Well, it's good. It's I'm quite hot. Are you ready for tomorrow? Yeah. Mate, more than ready. Hat trick coming tomorrow. Huh? Hat trick coming tomorrow. Hat trick. AFC <laughs> Broadwater. Mate, one of the best things I've ever Five country more. Is it? <laughs> So is there the rest You're of humble, aren't you, Will? Yeah, is the rest of us are like pretty ugly or something? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got your boots on? Let's have a look. What boots are they? Um, I don't know, Mercurials. They're the CR7 ones. Oh, Only a fair. select people wear them. A select? No, no, but it's true though, it's true, because you got um, Haaland, Erling Haaland wears them, Mbappe wears them, Bruno Fernandes wears them, and obviously and Joe Willock wears them. So <laughs> and obviously Ronaldo as well. You're right, Shane, how's it going anyway? Yeah, man, um, we just so, arrived. Yeah, so obviously we're facing uh, Broadwater. How do you think it's going to go? Well, to be honest, um, looking at their results and where they are in the league, it's going to be a tough game. Um, they're a little bit below us, but they've beaten teams we've beat and they've also lost against teams we've lost. So, you know, I've just said to the boys, they've got to look at this as the same kind of level of competition that we've had over the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, I expect them all to put a shift in. 
and fingers crossed if everyone else does their job on the pitch we'll all go home happy yeah, hopefully it goes well mate. yeah no most definitely man we'll see how it goes wicked so at the moment kickoff's actually been delayed an hour so it was meant to be at one o'clock but now it's at two so i could have actually got an extra an hour of sleep in bed but thanks to broadwater that wasn't possible uh, there's nothing much to do at the moment <laughs> Standing around. Charlie! Oh, it's, sorry, I'm. Get started. <laughs> <laughs> I've just met a crystal, that's why. No worries, mate. Fine, no. Charlie, anyway, what position do you play? Send him in. Send him in. Yeah, mate. Tell us something about yourself. Uh, inspiration is to play like Declan Rice. Declan Rice? Yeah. Biggest ball in the You're a West Ham fan then, aren't you? I am a West Ham fan. Yeah. Just a Declan Rice fan in general, actually. Of all players, you think Declan Rice? Yeah, he's fucking good quality. He's quality. <laughs> um, now, we're looking forward to today. It's going to be a hard game, I think. But three points, I'm ready. You know, after the Declan Rice comment, I don't think I'm going to record you anymore. Shane, is there anything particular you're concerned about? Because obviously. I don't want the boys getting it into their head that today's going to be an easier game. Yeah. Um, I am worried that complacency might set in and then we might not play our original game. So right now we're trying to get them switched on um, so they can be focused for the challenge that's coming. You're nervous, Faf. Me? Yeah. Nervous. Do you get nervous, Faf? What's the humble thing? What's the humble thing to say? <laughs> nah, I, if you don't get nervous, you, you're too arrogant and arrogance is never good. So yeah, I do get, I do get nervous. Yeah, definitely. Nice words. He's from last week, Shep's on the right, Ed in the middle, and Harvey on the left. Yep. Left wing back, um, Majid, no change again. This week on the right, we've had to make a change. Um, we've got Jack Griffin coming in on the right. Um, guys on the wings, loads of energy, you know. Um, I feel like that position requires the most energy in the team. You're going to be going up and down and you'll be making sure that your runners never get on the wrong side of you. To be honest with you, going forward, I trust you, but more than anything, I need you guys to make sure that when the opposition goes past you, you're ahead of him, all right? So we're not leaving the work for Ben and Harvey, yeah? They should be able to only be required to help you out with that player on the, on the wing if they're covering your position. In that scenario, you, try, you guys will just clean up, all right? Um, so the match had finally started as a 2 p.m. kickoff. So after an in-swinger from one of our players, it had fallen to Chris, who had scored on his debut just after three minutes. The thing is with this, Broadwater did equalise, but the ref actually gave a free kick first. So there was a bit of a wait until the ref finally overturned the decision to a free kick to a goal. We could have scored shortly after with Chris, who could have bagged his second on his debut, but it was denied by the goalkeeper. However, we didn't have to wait too long because Will smashed it in to make it 2 1 for Preston Park. So at this point we're all over Broadwater and Majid with his speed skipped past one of their players but was denied by the goalkeeper. But he would finally get his goal by using his speed and smashing it in in the top left hand corner. So the game seemed under control but there was a bit of a foul outside the box which we thought was outside the box at the end because the referee actually overturned the decision and said it was inside the box which therefore led to a penalty for Broadwater FC. They had then converted the penalty to make it 3-2 and get them back in the game. Going into the game, I said right, we're going to need to make sure we keep our composure. I said we're going to need to make sure that we look at these guys as not an inferior opposition and what have we gone and done how have we let ourselves after the two games that we had before this turn in a performance like this it's complacency it's simple as that we're not doing the basics 
and we're, we're thinking we're too good. You know, we need to now get the ball down in play. Um, what I'll say is in the middle, if you are getting the ball with your back to goal, just give it back where it comes from. Because every time we try and turn, we lose the ball. I think you've been guilty of that, you've been guilty of that. And you've been guilty of that. Yeah? If we're getting the ball from our back to goal, just give it and, and make the space for the return pass. Yeah? Every time that we try and turn, they are breathing down our necks. So this is stop giving away possession in that way. What we've done well is we've exploited the space on the wings. We haven't done it enough, but that's where all our joy has come from. Imagine, probably two or three times you've got down there, decision making at the final bit. It's poor. Yeah? You scored one, but there was one where you had two players in the box. Really and truly, if you're not going to give the ball to those two players, you need to make sure you hit the back of the net. We don't have the luxury of not taking those kind of chances. We're only one goal in the game at half time. Yeah? Two better decisions from you, we're four, four, four to one. Jack, when you're getting the ball out here, it, it seems to me that when you get the ball, you're focusing on the, the, the furthest pass away from you. Yeah, if my game was good, Chris, I'll set up for that still. Yeah, effectively, you know, what you need to do is look, play the cute part inside in between the defenders. What's happening? The right, the right centre back's coming across, their, their, their left midfielder's coming across, and it creates a hole in the middle. Just tuck it in. There was been about three times, you know exactly the yeah, scenario. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, beyond that, we're still very much in the game. And this is still very much a winnable game. But what we're going to need to do is go out and turn in a completely different performance. When you right. pass it, fucking hit it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, considering oh, making changes in the midfield area at the moment. Yeah, and that's just because the standard of our game is not good enough and we're not keeping the ball. So we're going to need to make that change for my for my thinking to change. Let's go back out there, guys. Let's have a good second half. Hey, come on! Oh, my side! My position, mate. My position. My position. We did get a penalty in the second half, so Will took it. Could he possibly put the game to bed? The answer was no. Absolutely freezing cold. Basically, I'm an idiot. My phone's about to run out of charge, and I missed a goal. So at the moment, it's actually 3-2. Um, Still winning. No, 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 I think it's actually 3-3. Three, three. I don't know, I'm just so cold. Oh, that's a big challenge. But yeah, I'll try to record as much as possible. But I'll get back to you guys at the end of the game. If I survive. So as the game went on, we just got really leggy and all of the chances were pretty much falling to Broadwater. It looks like my battery's gonna run out. It's the last kick of the game. If I don't see you then bye for the next episode but this is probably going to be the last shot of the day uh, yeah. So with Boardwater finish their comeback and score in the last minute They would And after that it just turned ugly I know you're a bit disappointed right now. I oh, made fuck off me now. <laughs> I think that explains it all. Fuck.